we've had four cards come out today. Oh my goodness. I know. And we've already been talking. All right. So the first one that came flying out was the number 42 card garage or garage. garage. Mm -hmm. Then the number 12 card wind dancers. Anita needs a pen and paper. So we'll give her a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You got those two? Yeah. And then number 53, knowledge and self cultivation. Mm hmm. And number 18, living room. Hmm. So this is quite the assortment today. <laughs> Okay, well, we were just talking about Gatherama and the virtual yep. summit. We were just talking about our power of an unstoppable woman virtual stage, right? All of those things. I mean, there are so much goodness happening in the world that happens right here online virtually. I mean, yes. you do not have to get in your car and drive out of the garage, right? You and and maybe 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 all of these cards came up for that purpose maybe someone here listening to this has been so busy driving in and out and going and just like a wind dancer you know here there and everywhere and now it, you have an invitation to I don't know, learn something new to in uh take in right knowledge mm -hmm. self-development self-awareness from the comfort of your living room well i can tell you what last night i left the garage and it was pouring where i went in fact it was a very slow drive home and i wasn't in the comfort of my garage but the knowledge and self-cultivation we gleaned last night from seeing lee harris live in calgary unbelievable that experience when it is live is different than when mm -hmm. you're watching it from the comfort of your home now <laughs> today i need the comfort of my home because the drive home my shoulders my neck all of me white <laughs> knuckle and sore. White knuckle oh yeah. it was an interesting drive and thank you for my co-pilot carrie if she's watching this morning because she's a talker thank goodness because she mm -hmm. <laughs> well we were both pretty juiced after it but i was concentrating on the road and she was talking and entertaining me all the way home so i thank very thankful for her this morning <clears throat> but yeah the wind uh, was definitely helping us do some dancing on the highway last night along with the rain mm-hmm mm -hmm. um I got an email this morning from Ignite uh, Gatherama, and I just loved how, you know, she worded everything, of course. Um, let's see, this was uh, what something that caught my attention that just kind of went into. Uh, so, yeah, from the comfy of your favorite chair, a steaming cup of inspiration, a.k.a. coffee or tea, mm -hmm. by your side, ready to soak in life-changing wisdom from our galaxy of superstar speakers. Oh. Wow. Sounds Love amazing. That. Love that. <laughs> Very cool. You can anyway, tell so, the writers. So that's how we're all in alignment this morning with all of those things, right? The garage, the wind mm -hmm. answers. Mm -hmm. knowledge and self-cultivation, living room. Uh, but when, again, when we look through our feng shui eyes energetically, you know, what can we do to kind of shift that? And I know a lot of our homes in North America, particularly, have attached garages on their home. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, a lot, you know, a lot of homes have this big attached garage and that's kind of what you see at that's the all front you of the see. house is you see this big garage. And what's inner interesting is that energy doesn't hide. And for those people that have this huge <clears throat> garage, so I'm going to say at the face of their home, 
if you see two thirds of the space is garage and one third is the front of the home, you know, uh, the front end, et cetera, I will guarantee you that those people are leading very, very busy lives because the garage is in command of the space. And the garage is the place that houses the vehicle, right? And so that coming and going of energy uh, is constantly there. And now how could we shift that for somebody, right? How could we shift that energy for someone? Well, we could draw the attention away from the garage to the front entrance, front which might be, uh, it might be in their knowledge and self-cultivation area, because that is one area uh, of the Bagua that is generally in the front of the home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then and the wind that? dancers could slow down, right? The people, exactly. <laughs> the people. Well, and you could... could slow down and relax in the, in the living room. Right. But the wind dancer itself can be used to draw that attention absolutely yes right so mm -hmm. how do you take away the attention from this massive and it's usually in a contrasting color mm -hmm. so it mm -hmm. brings even more attention to the garage door well mm -hmm. you can redo the garage door in a different color paint mm -hmm. to blend it into the rest of the facade of the house instead of it standing out and being front and center that also helps to to withdraw it right so it's not mm -hmm. so busy Mm -hmm. uh, a friend of mine is this coming week going to be painting her garage door. And well, uh, mm -hmm. like you, wants attention to go to the front door. So they have beautiful seating at the front entrance. They have a nice pathway to the front entrance. Right? So there's a things, there are things and lighting to attract you to the front door. Mm -hmm. Once the garage door is toned down a little bit. So you're not and then bringing again, once much. you're inside the garage, <clears throat> right, again, to kind of mitigate some of that fast moving energy, um, it's where can you slow down your energy? So let's say you're one of those busy people, you're coming and going all the time, you're driving into your garage and you're met with, you know, stacks of boxes or unorganized something or whatever, right? Again, it's just bombarding. You're bombarding your subconscious mind. And that's another reason of why you might not want to stay in your home. So then, you know, because you're anxious and your autonomic nervous system is not calm and relaxed and feeling safe, then you're going to subconsciously, unaware, make an excuse or um, out of the house. find a reason why you have to leave the house again, right? And then that just only accumulates and adds to that stress mm -hmm. because that visual environment when you're first coming in to the garage is, oh, and it's like, I don't want to be here, right? And even though consciously aware, you might not say that or think that, right. that is what's happening. And then all of a sudden you go in the house and then, oh, you know, now I have to go out again because I need something uptown or somebody phones and says, hey, do you want to, do you want to go to a Lee Harris concert? Uh, <laughs> hell yeah. I don't want to be home. I want to get out of the house and go somewhere live. Right. Um, and and it, that happens mm -hmm. so much to a lot of people. And it's really, really unfortunate because your home, your home is the, uh, for most people, is the biggest investment they will ever have or make. And if you don't feel safe and comfortable in your own home. What the hello, hell? You, you might as well go live in a camper on a four wheels and, you know be doing that i don't know anyways um uh, I'll, I'll zip it and let you talk for a while <laughs> no, no 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 it's all good <clears throat> as you were talking um knowledge and self-cultivation kept nudging at me 
And you had already started to address that quite often. That's the one area that is at the front of the house. And with a lot of houses that have the garages on the right hand side, and then the, the main door in set on the left, that what that tells us is that the knowledge and self-cultivation area isn't being supported. Mm -hmm. So often the people that are the busiest and that they're constantly running with a little bit of tweaking, a little bit more knowledge, a little bit more support for themselves can calm all that energy down and spend a little bit more time living instead Ooh. of being on the go. So don't neglect. And for those of you that have worked with us or studied with us, and you know, the self-cultivation and develop or knowledge and self-cultivation area, you think, ah, whatever I've gone to school. We never stop learning people. Never stop learning, never stop growing. Follow what's fascinating you because it's your soul taking you on a path. So the knowledge and self-cultivation to me is as important as all other eight areas of the Bagua, mm -hmm. but is often probably one of the most overlooked. I would, I would probably agree with that. And there is no coinky dink that you and I both showed up in green today, right? right? Varying <laughs> colors of green because green is associated with the knowledge and self cultivation area of the Bagua. It is also associated with the growth, growth and the learning and the expansion. And again, we only have to look to mother nature and look at the tree and how is it expands and grows and grows and grows. Um, and we too are energetic beings connected to this energetic world. And it is our nature, right? It is our nature or it is natural for us to continue growing and yes. expanding. Whether you are doing that emotionally, spiritually, uh, whatever there is no you know there is no that's it I'm done growing Never. right because what um, happens when you stop well you know then the opposite of that then you're dying however you know I like to believe on the other side of that um, as esoteric energy or wherever we go beyond this physical plane there is still learning and growth mm. happening. Always. Right? The, the, the whole cosmos is continuously growing and expanding. And I'm not a scientist, but you just have to go, you know, ask the Google. Uh, nothing is stagnant. Nothing. No thing, right, is stagnant. It's all constantly moving constantly changing we're constantly evolving and so to get in the flow of life to get living you need to be in that constant state or the uh awareness or appreciation of learning of learning something new so again and it's interesting you said the word living because we have to make room for living Mm -hmm. So it's not that maybe this card is living room today. It's making mm. room for living. Not yeah, being it's, the it's, it's the opposite of that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Making room for living. Mm -hmm. Love that. Room um, living. I love it. <clears throat> room for living. And, and of course, you know, that again, it gives us that um, extension to invite you all to come to the virtual Ignite Gather Rama stage. Absolutely um just pop in pop in for for a speaker or two and if nothing else like you said Cheryl just register some of those free gifts will bring you all kinds of education learning awareness 100%. 100%. something that you may have not you know known before yeah so I have noticed several times that you have your inspiring on today from our friend Kate the Hardest now what well, you know, inspired you when I, I went in the drawer to grab some lipstick and there the the little inspiring was looking up at me saying hey pick Aww. me today pick me. <laughs> I'm like okay 
I just I just put it on. It's mm -hmm. fun because it got me smiling. So if at nothing else, it gets ah. you smiling. Cool. Um, yeah, that is from our friend K8 the Heartist. Yes. Do we have? Any uh, I also want to say before we popped on here today, I was making um, some edits for our Power of an Unstoppable Woman virtual stage, which we mm -hmm. already talked about Vianne being on there. And I was just getting uh, some things lined up for uh, one of our July speakers, Michelle Karen. And holy moly, I'll tell you what, if that virtual stage presentation isn't packed full, I, I will not know why it isn't, uh, you know, because I was just going through and reading her bio again. And, and I mean, Cheryl and I know her personally, mm. and we've had her on our FLAWC um, podcast before, but, you know, incredible, incredible woman. I mean, she became uh, an astrologer at the age of 14, right? Yeah. I mean, that's crazy. Well, she especially is, in that time frame. Yeah. She is the exclusive astrologer for the uh for the Academy Awards, right? Hello. And I love this fun fact about her that she is the the GPS <laughs> voice, voice for Honda Canada uh in French. French. Right. So if you are driving a Honda car in Canada and you want your navigation to be in the language of French, it is our beautiful friend, Michelle Karen's voice that will be <laughs> guiding you around town. Uh, anyways, that's fun. Uh, I just had to kind of give you a heads up on that. You can't register yet because I haven't got the registration link. I'm working on it, but I'm telling you, like, holy moly. Right. Well, I want to go back to your ring because another artist friend of ours, Kathy Strauss, is up first. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I watched, I got to attend Kathy's presentation at Gatherama in Las Vegas. She'll be speaking this weekend as well, so you can get a taste for her there. And if you can't this weekend, then you can catch her on the power of the virtual, or power of an unstoppable woman virtual stage. She is a creationaire, is what she calls mm. herself. Creationer. Creationeer. <clears throat> what a hoot this woman is very dynamic and you're gonna love that too so mm -hmm. yeah anyway so a lot anyway. of good things happening in the yes. knowledge and self-development area and if you're feeling a little stagnant if you're feeling yes. a little stuck if you're feeling that you know maybe you've uh have reached a plateau and you haven't really been growing uh lately Again, energetically, we can look in that area of our home and we can make some enhancements. We can shift the energy and have it reflect that growth, that um, learning, that awareness by simply placing possessions in that area of your home that have deep personal meaning for you that would you know, encourage you or uh, empower you to learn something new. There you go. All right. So I did up the numbers with our 42, 12, 53, and 18. I get an eight. What did you get? I didn't add them up. So oh. I'll trust your adding. <laughs> so as always, I grabbed the book, Double Digitology, Marilyn and Joy. <laughs> and I want to read a little bit from the book. Because <clears throat> mm -hmm. I think this really, <clears throat> excuse me, summarizes what we're talking about. It takes an enlightened person to understand that they can shift the energy between themselves and others by choosing how they wish to reflect the energy back. Mm -hmm. What we counsel, and meaning Adironda, choose love and see how your world improves. That's that figure eight. Right, that the eight of the the infinity symbol of the eight. The eight is a constant coming and going, incorporating constantly shifting frequency. When we look at the energy between people, if we were to draw a line between those people that follows the energy path, it would look like the figure eight. 
So consider that with your comings and goings out of your garage or what's happening in the living room. Mm -hmm. Coming and going between you and the person going out of the garage could be really off if you're both coming and going at different times. Mm -hmm. And the same mm -hmm. two people in the living room, the energy between the two of you is going to be much closer, much more consistent. A hmm. little bit of something to consider there. All right. You are closing words, okay. my friend. That's it. We are yeah. top of the hour. We'll see you all. Happy Canada Day. Happy July 4. Uh, everyone, get out there and celebrate. Uh, get to know your neighbor. Mm -hmm. Get your wind dancers out. I actually have a Canada flag for the Blue Jays game. So watch for us if you're a Blue Jays fan. We're playing Houston. Kate, we're playing your team. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Four times, by the way. Uh, <laughs> All right. Okay. Have a great week, Bye everybody.